hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe and this is Kitech digital now in this video we are going to um learn how to create this um i mean how to convert this account dashboard woocommerce account dashboard to um a modernized one so we're going to convert this boring dashboard to this one over here okay so um let's say you have an e-commerce website and then you want to you know um, customize your own account dashboard without using the normal woocommerce um, you know dashboard you can do so by watching this video so um, without wasting much time let's um, jump into the video now if you are new over here i will entreat you to subscribe to my channel like and then comment and also turn on the notification when you subscribe so that anytime that i drop a new video you'll be able to uh, get notified and then come and then watch so also i just want to say thank you all for um coming back again and watching the video once again and then also liking and then you know commenting on the channel um, and growing together as we are going along this uh, beautiful journey so um, i thank all the new subscribers and the old subscribers also for watching continue watching the the video okay so um let's just jump into the video and then start designing the um, account dashboard okay first of all i just want to say that um this account dashboard is not for any kind of website but it is for a website built with woocommerce okay so if you built your website with woocommerce then you can follow this tutorial okay but if it is just a blog or any business website um, i don't think this video will be for you but this video specifically is for um, a website built with WooCommerce that is um, an e-commerce website so if you built your website with WooCommerce or your website is an e-commerce website built with WordPress WooCommerce then you are good to go and we can all follow the tutorial um, we can we can all you know um, follow the tutorial so um, first of all like I said you need to have WooCommerce installed and everything done um, you need to have an e-commerce website done before you can be able to what, um, start this tutorial so let's jump into the video and then start creating our what our account dashboard so to start um, creating our account dashboard now this is the dashboard that we are going to turn into a new one okay so as you can see this is the navigation over here and this is the content okay so when you click on this navigation it gives you the content over here when you click on orders it gives you what your orders over here when you click on you know downloads it will give you your downloads over here when you click on addresses we click on account details and then log out okay so we want to what um redesign this whole thing and then make it what um you know a new one for um for our website okay that's exactly what we are going to what we are going to do so um to achieve this one what we need to do is first of all we need to um you know dis make this navigation disappear okay now to make this navigation disappear okay so um that is how we so we have to make this one disappear okay so what we are going to do is um we are going to click on this place which is what customize so click on it and then scroll down okay to additional css and we're go just going to add some css um, you know codes to it okay now paste this um sorry that that's not it that's not it now i'm going to give you um this code okay so i'll give you this code i'll leave the link in the description so that you can paste that code over there so we're going to paste this code over here now as you can see at the moment i pasted the code what happened um everything what um the the navigation disappeared and then the um the content became what 100 percent full width okay and that is what uh, we wanted okay so um uh, the css code over here says what um we want to display nav the navigation we want to display none and then also the uh, content we want it to be what 100 percent okay that is exactly now if you you paste the code over here or what you need to do is to uh, just click on publish over here okay so um we've done step one of it the next one that we are going to do is to 
design the whole um, account page itself so let's um, close this place and go back to our account page now to to be able to design this place we need to uh, edit it okay so what we are going to do is um, we want to edit with Ed Elementor okay so if you have Elementor installed because I'm going to use Elementor to what um, to edit the page if you don't have Elementor installed please install Elementor okay and it's very simple to install Elementor just um, go to your dashboard let's go back to our dashboard let me show you how you can be able to install Elementor so simple go to your dashboard okay and then um, hover on plugins over here and then click on add new plugin and then search for Elementor okay just search for Elementor now those of you who don't know Elementor Elementor is what a, a website builder it's just a drag and drop website builder or a page builder that helps you build your website without coding without writing any line of what of code so this is the um the uh, the the page builder that we are going to uh, install elementor okay so um just click on it will be like this like this one install now just click on it to install now and then after installing you see what activate over there just click on it to uh, to activate okay now as you can see it have what over five million plus active installation means that people love um, this page particular page builder it is easy to use and then um, it is not really for um, it is for anybody okay it is not particularly for coders or one of no everybody can use it okay that is why we love Elementor so now that we have Elementor installed now we can go ahead and then what edit our page now if you don't see edit Elementor with over here don't worry just click on this one edit page over here now of course you're not going to see this one over here you just see your my account and then the short code in it okay and then over here you are going to see what we call edit with this thing will be shown over here which is edit with what elementor mine is over here so i'm just going to click on what edit with elementor to edit it okay so now that we are here okay we want to remove this one from here okay so what we are going to do is um you see this settings icon over here just click on it down over here just click on it and then with a the page layout it is default change it to an elementor full width okay so you're going to get something like this okay very simple unique like this one now what we are going to do is we're just going to click on this plus icon over here and then still click on the plus icon over here and then we select a structure so i'm going to select this structure over here now the next one that we are going to do is we're going to add um we're going to you know edit this structure and then add some few things in it so um with the edit um, structure over here selected and uh, everything done the session what we will do is what we change the content width of the session so we're going to make it full width and then we are going to change the column gap to what no column of course i'm still going to have a column over here because of um the the theme that i'm using but yours maybe might be different and then with the height i'm going to say minimum height and then i'll still leave it to what 400 now I'll go to style over here okay and then i'll check um click on the content type which is classic and then i will choose an image for it so i'm going to choose select any image that i want for it so what I'm going to select is this particular image over here. I'm going to insert this image over here. Now, if you don't have an image, of course, you can um, upload your own image on it. I'll change the position to a center center. I'll adjust um, the um, the repeat side to a no repeat. And then the size, I'll make it to a cover. Okay. So now that we have this one done, what we have to do is click on this grip icon over here and then bring a text heading over here and then what we are going I'm going to write is I'm going to write um, your dashboard okay or you can decide to write your account account with double C dashboard okay 
and I'm going to put it align it in the middle or in the center and then I'll go to style over here change the color to white typography I will change the typography to Montserrat so change the typography to anything that you want okay but I'm going to change it towards Montserrat okay Montserrat and then I'm going to give a size of um, 55 to 8 so now that I'm, I'm going to also change the width to 700 okay so that it will be a little bit bold okay now that I'm, I have this one done I'm, I'm already you know in progress um, doing something so what le let's take a look at how it is so this is just a hero session of the account page so it is that place is done so what the next one that we're going to do is what to um, design the navigation the way we want it okay so with the navigation what we are going to do is we're going to click on this plus um, icon over here and then choose a session as um, a structure that we want so I'm going to choose this four column structure over here and then I will click on the grip um, this um, six um, you know dot icon over here edit session and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to advance unlink this one change the top margin to negative 90 okay so that it's going to be what on top okay and then come over here click on this um, you know um, edit colon over here to edit the colon what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advance again and then I'm going to give all round of margin of 20 and then also a pattern of 20 and the next one I'm going to do is click on this grip icon uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for icon box drag it into it so I'm going to have something like this okay I'm going to have something like this I'm going to delete the um, um, how do you call it the, 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 the description over there what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write dashboard dashboard okay and then change the icon to what to a board kind of thing so I'm going to select this one as the dashboard icon okay and then I'll go to style change the style to white change the size to 35 very good go to content change the color to black okay now with the icon also we have to change the um, color to black because we will give a white background to um, the column okay so go to the content change the typography make it poppins okay very good so as you can see we cannot see it well so click on the edit session over here go to style now give it a background type now give it white okay just like this one so as you can see it is what perfectly done now of course you can decide to what give it a um, you know border radius or a corner border radius of anyhow you want it so let's say you want to give it a corner radius of 20 everything is good for you depends on you how you want it okay so just like this one okay now with this one I'm going to click on this one over here edit go to the content and then with this um, I'm going to give it 18 yeah very good okay and then also um, I just want to go to advance over here unlink the margin and then go to top and give it let's say 20 okay yeah so that it's going to be what all round over here so now that we have one designed what we can do is we can just either copy and paste or duplicate it so the duplication is what is the best so I'm just going to uh, duplicate it three times duplicate it three times okay 
so that it will be four different columns so I can delete this one delete this one and delete this one okay very good so I have four different columns over here so as you can see it is what it is good for me okay so now I have my top one done now I can change all the what all the things in it now the next one that I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this edit icon over here go to style again and then with the um, icon I want when I hover on it it's going to give me with a different color so I'll go over here and then change it to my orange color so that when I hover on it I'm going to have something like this I can just copy and then paste style on all of them okay just paste style right click paste right click and paste undo right click paste style okay very good so now that I have this one done, now I can decide to change the icon so this one will be others okay so I'm gonna use a basket for it I'm gonna use this one for it I'm gonna write others over here okay very good I'm gonna use um, this one will be what downloads okay I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna write downloads for it downloads and then I'm gonna write use cart okay so I'm still going to look for shopping and use this one okay and I'm gonna write cart okay so now I have this one done but the next thing I have to do is we need to be clicking on it okay so we need to give um you know link it to all um the original what WooCommerce um you know pages okay so what we have to do is um you know this is the dashboard and with the dashboard what it does is it's um it shows you this one okay so basically we can just um go to you know uh visit our website over here and then just copy this link okay so copy the um, link address come over here and then paste it over here okay and then update it so make sure that anything that you do you update it okay so just update it now if we preview it okay so let's just preview the changes this is how it's going to be like okay so that when somebody clicks on this one there is no link to it oh the link was on this one rather okay instead of what instead of this one okay not this one the link went to the cart rather sorry so I'm gonna update this one okay so guys as you can see there is a link to it so when you click on it it's going still going to show you this one okay now let's look at the others the others how do we link the others now with the others the others is what if you look at your um let's go back to um you know our uh, dashboard and then i'm going to show you something at the woocommerce settings okay now if you go to um, woocommerce over here and then you go to settings and then you go to advanced okay just click on advanced over here now you you realize that you have what you have all the what endpoints over here okay so these are the endpoints that we are going to use the WooCommerce endpoints that we are going to use what to um, you know uh, um, design or link all our what our pages uh, our our I icons over here okay so that it will work for us so um, we just need the others okay meaning that we need this link plus others okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on others over here now with the link what i'll do is i'll just type in um you know um dash over here or, uh, slash over here the slash and then i'll write my account my account slash and then i'll paste in the others slash okay and then i'll update it 
now of course if that is correct if i click on this one i'm supposed to get all others just like this okay so that is exactly how you can what you can do it now if you don't know how the um, you know i'll just give you the what the end point so that you can just copy this ones okay you just copy this ones this ones and then you paste it in your what in your link side okay so the same way applies to a download if you go to the this ones also this one is with downloads okay so it is just with my account okay so let's go over here it is just um, slash my dash account slash downloads slash okay just like that and then we would we update it now let's go to cart now of course the cart is not um you know an endpoint of the my account page okay it is just a different page on its own so what we are going to do is we just going to uh, copy the what uh, the cart page link and then we bring it to what uh, we copy the cart page link and then we bring it to uh, we paste it over there so this is the cart page okay so i'm going to just copy link address come over here and then paste it. now this will open a new page for us okay so now that we have it done i'll just click on what save changes okay very good so now we have this one done okay now the next one is to um, create another side bar over here okay so that this content will be in um in the middle over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this icon over here i'm going to click on the um, i'm going to give a two column session okay so just um two column session over here now the first one will be 25 25 and then this one will definitely be 70 what 75 okay so or i can decide to just duplicate this one just duplicate this one okay remove the go to advance uh, uh, remove this one from there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um, you know delete delete all the other ones and then make it become two column and then what i'll do is the first column i'll make it to a 25 okay just like this one and then i'll delete this one from it and then i'll bring this one in here okay so i'll just copy it and paste it here and then i'll click cl um, cl cancel or close or delete um, the last one so that with this one i want to you know give a bottom pattern or a margin of um let's say 120 okay so that there'll be space at the bottom okay so um exactly this one but of course it is not just one over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one duplicate this one still duplicate this one okay and let's say duplicate it again to become let's say four now with this one what i'm going to uh we're going to um you know give this one a different name uh, and a different what link okay so now that we have dashboard account um others downloads cart what we need to have is i know this one is going to be logout okay so i'm going to go look for logout or sign out i'm going to go look for logout or sign out okay so let me see log log out mm -hmm. sign yeah this one i'm going to use this one and set it over here so this one will be what um log out okay now the link of a logout link if you don't know you can what you can really um you know do check um <coughs> do check it out so just um go to go to 
um let's go to where, 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 where. go to appearance go to menus okay so as you can see we have a logout user link over here but we don't have the link over here so what we are going to do is what just open your website since you are logged in okay it is easy to find the logout over here okay just copy it copy the link address okay and then come to your page and come and paste it in the link section over here okay so that is what that is my logout with link okay yeah so most of us our logout link will land somewhere here okay and it will not redirect okay but this one redirects so that is why you see all these other what other things over here okay so that is it so now that i have this one done um i need this one also to be what shop so let's see store okay i need this one store so i want to say enter shop okay very good so i want to just copy the shop with the shop page okay so copy this one uh, copy link and then come over here paste it over here okay just paste it in the link section and then that is it now then this one is going to be our what addresses or uh, let's say this one is going to be our um, account okay so let's say account so the user account or the profile user profile okay so you can just search for user and then choose any one that you want okay you can choose anything that you want so anything that you want you can choose it i'm going to choose this one i'm going to use this one so um i can say user profile and then just change this one okay and then with this one when we go to um the woocommerce side okay so where is where where did we get to let's go to woocommerce settings advanced okay now let's look at the link okay so edit account we can use this one okay this one is what we want edit account okay so that the user can be able to edit their account okay so that is the user profile so i'm just going to erase this one and then write edit account over here edit account over here now where this one is going to be addresses okay so i'm going to just choose this one as address and then over here i'm going to write addresses okay and then let's go to the woocommerce session and then as you can see we have what edit address to over here we can go over here take off the first side and then paste in this one over here let me go over here and then add a slash to it okay so i think all is good now we can just update it and now when we go back to um, our page this is how it looks like okay so we can click over here to view our orders so these are our orders we can click over here to view our downloads if we have some so we don't have any downloads we can click over here to go to our, our cart page i'm not going to click on it because it will open a new page for me we can click over here to check our addresses as you can see these are what our addresses we can edit it 
we can click over here to also check out what our user profile that is our account anything in our account okay we can edit it and then we can click over here to uh, to enter the shop okay so basically that is how and then we can also click over here to, uh, to log out basically that is how you can be able to design your account dashboard and make it um, you know of course this is my own style of design you can design it the way you want it depending on your what your brand needs and your um, design skills okay so um i hope this video helps you for all those who want to design their own um you know account dashboard for their clients and then also for their customers okay so see you in the next video and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to this video until i meet you again bye bye